spoken to many Tibetans here in exile who define themselves strictly in terms of the Dalai Lama. So they place their identity uh, in terms of his holiness, the Dalai Lama. Um, but the political reality is that he won't be around forever. He'll be he'll be dead in you know a few decades, two or three decades. What will that do to the independence movement or to the autonomy movement? Um, what are the political ramifications of that? Well, um, Tibetans usually do not talk about uh, post Dalai Lama scenario. It's considered uh, inauspicious. Uh, but it's His Holiness himself who is trying to prepare the Tibetan people for that inevitable future. And therefore, he himself, earlier we used to say retire, now it is renunciation. We realize that just like how the Buddha left the luxury and comfort of his uh, kingdom, of his palace, and went in search of truth, His Holiness renunciated the political power. And he said that, that the elected leadership will take, will run the government, and people must take complete responsibility of their government, which I think is a very wise vision for future. Of course, um, uh, in the post uh, uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama's scenario, it will be a huge loss, a loss, a vacuum that cannot be filled up, created, replaced by anybody. Uh, but what is important is what His Holiness is saying, what his wishes, what, what is his vision for Tibetans and Tibetans. And his vision is to create an independent, strong Tibetan leadership which will not only unite the Tibetans from within the community, win that confidence of the Tibetan people. Today we don't have that. People we think, today we think that it is only the Dalai Lama who will lead us. We have the confidence in him. Because we haven't had an independent Tibetan leader. Even the Prime Minister had always been part of the government run by his own. So now His Holiness is saying that you have your own leader elected by yourself, make him run it. There may be mistakes, there may be uh, good things that there may happen out of it. It is still your decision. And this is the practice that, the kind of a training that he's giving to the Tibetan people. Both in the mind of the common ordinary people and also in the leadership. And this is what we are trying now for the first time. So therefore, I would think that in the next 10-15 years, we would have created a leadership which uh, has the confidence of the Tibetan people, who is confident in running the administration also, and also the struggle, who would have by then united uh, the common aspiration of the Tibetan people. It may be for independence or autonomy, but the Tibetan struggle will continue. As he already says, that the struggle of Tibetan people is for the Tibetan country, is not the Dalai Lama. There had been Dalai Lamas coming and going, and this is the 14th Dalai Lama, but the Tibet as a country, Tibetan people, has always survived and lived. So therefore, Tibet will live on. We will not let it die.